way. We also got Jessica's Celebrity Buzz. But Jess, uh, what do you have today? All right, here we go. So TikTok has expressed its concerns about a bill passed by the House of Representatives that could lead to a ban of the app in the U.S. if its Chinese owner, ByteDance, does not sell its stake within a year. The bill has now moved to the Senate, and President Joe Biden has indicated that he would sign it. Lawmakers are arguing that TikTok poses national security risk due to data sharing concerns. All right, now hold on. So I have no idea what any of it means. (laughs) All right, so let's break this down. So they said a... The Chinese bite There's dance. a bill that was passed, yes, by the House. So there's still, yeah, but it has to go through the Senate, number one, and then it has to get signed. He said he would sign it. Um, but they said the Chinese owned bite dance. Yes. I thought the head of TikTok was already on the hill that said it wasn't a Chinese owned. Could lead to a ban of the app in the U.S. if it's Chinese owner bite dance. Yeah. That's what it says. Yeah. If they do not sell its stake within a year. So, so, okay, so TikTok's not going to go away when they vote it. If they vote, if it goes through the Senate and then it gets to President Biden's desk, and even though he signs it, it's still going to be a year because they have to give them a chance to sell, sell its stake. their stake. But they say the Chinese owned. Yes. That's where I'm confused because, the again, the CEO or, or – Head of TikTok was on the hill and said it wasn't. I Chinese remember that. Owned. Yeah, you know. So that's where I'm confused. This clown show. We'll see. It's a clown show. We'll see what happens next. This old gag. Uh, oh, they're, then- they're gonna take your. They're gonna take all your. Uh, all your data. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Look, I ain't got nothing. To, I, I don't oh, know. I ain't got man. nothing to hide. So. I still think it's all show. They're not going to take away TikTok, please. TikTok ain't going away. And even if it does go that far, there is a company ready to go. I don't know. I just feel like it's a political year. Yeah, that's it. Stuff happens. That's it. There's always big, crazy things that will happen in the news during this time. That's it. And it's going to continue. This is a show. All this is a, is a big show. It's like annoying. But it's like people's livelihood and his tiktok just tired of hearing about it yeah. ain't going nowhere well that was the top story mm. what else is going on jess and then a tram accident at universal studios hollywood on saturday night has now injured 15 riders the last car of the tram hit a rail while traveling down a hill with the fire department authorities suspecting a brake issue the injured they were transported to local hospitals and an investigation into the incident is ongoing Sad situation here. The Dover Police Department and the Delaware State University Police Department are investigating a homicide that occurred early Sunday morning on the campus at DSU. At 1.40 a.m., DSU police received a call for shots fired Mm. near Warren Franklin Hall. Responding officers found the victim, which was an 18-year-old female who had suffered a gunshot wound to her upper body. She was transported to Bay Health Kent Campus to be treated for her wounds, and sadly, she passed away at the hospital. The victim's name is being withheld until family has been notified. She was not registered as a student at DSU and no other injuries were reported. But if anyone has any information at all, please call the Dover Police Department at 302-736-7130. The Delaware State Fire Marshal's Office is investigating a fire that occurred early Sunday morning on Basin Road in Millsboro. At first... The responders arrived there and the fire did advance into the attic and the roof line. It was a two-story residential structure. They conducted a primary search. There was conflicting reports that an occupant was trapped inside. Ultimately, it was deemed that there was no occupants inside the residence. The Delaware State Fire Police coordinated traffic and scene access during the duration of this event. One firefighter was injured and required emergency medical observation. And the Delaware State Police have arrested an 18-year-old man. His name is Ronald Alberts of Seaford for stealing a church van over the weekend. Stealing a church van. On April the 19th at 1.52 a.m., a trooper on patrol saw a white Dodge passenger van swerving on Concord Road in the area of Church Road near Seaford. The trooper pulled the van over on Concord Pond Road and spoke to the driver. A computer check found... 
that the van belonged to a local church. A did, he have any, did he have any deacons in there? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> a representative of the church was contacted and police found out that the van was stolen. What? He was taken over to Troop 5 where he was charged. He will be charged and arraigned with um, theft of motor vehicle, which is a felony, criminal trespass in the third degree, driving without a valid license, and numerous other traffic offenses. Was he a member of the church? Goodness, 18 years old. Wow. Was he part of the youth? Mm. Maybe he was, um, as long as he, look, what do you think's worse, having the elders in there or the deacons? Stop. What's worse? Stop. In the van? <laughs> yeah. And he stole it? <laughs> yeah. What's worse? Because <laughs> so, you, you know, have a problem. when you say the word el- when you say elders, you think older, but some of the deacons are older Stop. than the elders. Stop. So it's messed up. I don't know. Or maybe he had some up. part of the choir in there. Messed up. The choir. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> the choir. Six thirty. <laughs> It's a Bill and Jessica show. We got more headlines coming up. We got a 47 ABC News uh, update on the way with sports and weather. Good morning.